So hello everyone. So this is a, a video uh, presentation for uh, the accepted paper discovery of ELSA uh, gates detection of uh, sparse inappropriate content from case videos. So uh, in the presentation, I will uh, briefly introduce the background motivation of this research. Uh, so what is the problem we are to deal with? And uh, so what is sparse linear discrimination? So uh, which is the uh, method uh, we, we propose to deal with uh, ELSA gate uh, videos? And also I'm going to answer the questions. So uh, a little bit about the background. So the social networking websites, such as uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, are rapidly fetching data from uh, sources uh, and uh, merge um, or cancel data from uh, a variety of sources into one common platform. And this platform, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they are accessible to uh, people of all age. So the people who can access um, this data are uh, not only are limited to uh, adults, but also teens, um, children, and especially uh, young kids. So YouTube has a large scale videos uh, data set. So this the videos are uh, available online. So uh, YouTube does provide a safe uh, video filter uh, for the kids. Uh, but um, some of the videos are usually escape from um, these filters. And uh, we found uh, there's a uh, special category of videos, so which we call ELSA gate uh, videos. So these uh, videos can um, successfully escape from YouTube uh, safe uh, video filter. So the problem is, uh, according to some statistics, um, over 11% of the keys uh, from the age group between uh, three to four eight years, and uh, nine percent of uh, from five to seven years uh, watch YouTube uh, kids channel like uh, uh, YouTube kids channel, True True TV, uh, Coco Man. Uh, so these are the uh, video channels uh, channels provided to the young kids, and at, at least uh, once uh, a week or even more often. So some kids, uh, especially these, these days, when they uh, stay, stay at home, they watch uh, the videos from online sources almost all day long. So analysis shows that the kids from an uh, age group from two, two to four years are the most vulnerable to the content offered by online uh, videos. For example, uh, True True TV, uh, YouTube kids channel. So this is alarming to see that um, the vast um, population is being impacted uh, by and exposed to the risky uh, content uh, over uh, the internet. So what is uh, Elsa Gate uh, video? So here um, I show a picture of um, uh, a picture frame, a frame uh, taken from a uh, Elsa Gate uh, video. So this is the zombie version of uh, Peppa Pig. So it um, looks like a normal cartoon video, but uh, if uh, you pay attention to the details, so you will find some inappropriate content such as here you see here uh, is there's a graveyard scene and uh, here is uh, a zombie so this uh, and scales here 
So these are the contents as not, that are not suitable for a kids to view. So, but uh, because parents can cannot keep eye on their kids um, 24 by seven. So sometimes, uh, and also for the kids channel, uh, the safe filter, uh, they are not able to detect um, some small details uh, from the, uh, the videos because uh, the majority of the contents uh, in the video are normal, uh, are fine. And there's only a small portion, maybe only um, two, one or two skulls, maybe less, just, just one graveyard, or uh, the Peppa Pig um, becomes a zombie. So only some small details um, are changed. And this uh, incorporate content as false and are hidden uh, behind uh, a large amount of uh, normal uh, video content. So this is uh, um, what um, is Elsa Gate uh, video. So here our job is, um, so the how, to, how do we detect uh, a small amount of uh, incorporate uh, details out of uh, a large amount of uh, uh, data, a large amount of uh, uh, video. Okay. So this is what uh, this is our job, and also why a YouTube channel and the True True TV, such uh, the uh, kids video channel, the safety filter failed to uh, detect uh, those videos because um, the inappropriate content um, in proportion to the normal videos, the effects bus. So uh, in order to detect the sparse uh, violent content, inappropriate content from those videos, so we propose to use um, SLD, bus minion discrimination. So this method used to detect uh, the sparse uh, inappropriate uh, content from a large amount of uh, videos. So this is um what we propose so um so this paper is actually a research in progress uh, paper so we are still working on it um so um and sld is basically a classification technique so it's used to build models and it used to extract features out of uh, a sparse uh, sample space, and uh, uh, especially targeting the uh, a very tiny features uh, out of a sparse uh, sample space. So for the TPC questions, um, the first question is, uh, what is in your view the optimal design of a final uh, parental service for case? and which functions should they have. And it should probably include screen time limitation, content filtering, and more. Um, so as I said, because uh, parents cannot keep eyes on their young kids uh, 24 by seven. So especially uh, when their kids are browsing using a um, mobile device such as iPad, to uh, to watch video, um, so parents usually uh, do not pay much attention to the videos uh, that their kids are, are watching. Um, so then the parental uh, parental services. So as I said, YouTube a, a kids channel uh, they does provide uh, a filter a filtering service and. Uh, uh, the, con the control features that parents can use to limit um, the videos uh, that uh, the kids uh, are going to watch. But uh, because uh, the features are not very intelligent. So uh, what we propose is to make the, um, the filter uh, more intelligent. 
So the field tray is able to detect uh, the spots, uh, some spots uh, in appropriate content uh, from the video. So the second question is how your solution might shape up with service design, being that uh, the spots detection is a concept which would be more allowing and uh, yet equally efficient as wide content uh, blocking. Um, so for wide content blocking, because uh, besides uh, YouTube channel, so YouTube also provides uh, YouTube kids channel. Yeah. So then the kids can only watch um, or some specific videos which is uh, compared to all the videos available on YouTube. So that's only a small portion, uh, so which are appropriate, um, uh, measured as appropriate or safe for the kids to watch. And uh, then through a YouTube kids channel, so the kids can only access to those videos that are, uh, are ranked as, uh, as safe. To, uh, to the case. So uh, the proposed solution, bus detection, actually does not uh, conflict or does not compete with uh, content blocking. So uh, detection is actually the first step. Right? So if the detection is more intelligent, as we said, we propose a more intelligent solution to uh, further detect uh, some small details uh, from the video. So then the second step is um, blocking. So based on detection result, then the filter is able to further block um, the videos that are uh, rated as inappropriate. So they are not uh, compete uh, with each other. Thank you.